Here's a quick and easy holiday how-to. Candy bark is simple and easy to make and it tastes delicious. In today's tutorial, we'll be showing you how to make three different types of candy bark. Candy bark makes a great addition to your holiday dessert table. It's also wonderful to give as gifts. If you're on the go and you just need a quick gift, this is the perfect option for that. Today we're using Nicholas Lodge's candy bark kit. It is a peppermint kit and it comes complete with white chocolate as well as crushed up green and red peppermint candy. So we've just melted our chocolate and we're simply going to cut open our bag of peppermint candy that's been crushed and we are going to add that right to our white chocolate. We're going to give it a good stir so it's nice and incorporated. And once we've mixed the peppermint candy with our white chocolate, we're gonna simply turn it out onto some parchment paper that we have laying down. We'll smooth it out a little bit and then we will let it dry so that it becomes solid again. And then we'll be ready to break it up and package it up. We're gonna go ahead and finish smoothing this out and then we'll set it off to the side so that it can firm up and we will move on to our next candy bark. Now that our candy bark has had an opportunity to firm up, we are ready to break it into pieces. So just remove it from the parchment paper and using a knife, just start to break apart those pieces. I like to leave mine in a combination of big and you know fairly small pieces depending on who I'm giving them to. So once we get this all broken up we're just going to simply grab our cello bag and start filling it with our candy bark. Again this makes a wonderful gift if you're on the go and you know you're gonna see some friends for lunch this is a great little you know just a little something something. It also makes a wonderful treat for your for your kids to take to school, to give to teachers. And it's really a wonderful project to do with kids. I have thoroughly enjoyed doing projects like this with my three-year-old niece. She just absolutely loves to get into the kitchen and create. And you know, this is a very easy project for kids to be able to, you know, get in the kitchen and work with mom or dad and do something fun. So again, this candy kit is from Nicholas Lodge. You can uh, find this online at nicholaslodge.com. It's part of the International Sugar Art Collection. And we hope that you have enjoyed this first edition of our candy bark. We're gonna go ahead and move on to our next bark, which will be a cranberry white chocolate bark. Welcome back. We are moving on to our festive cranberry bark. We are going to be using white chocolate. This is a candy coating chocolate by Merkins. And one of the nice things about using a candy coating is that you do not have to temper it. It is a non-tempering chocolate. So we simply just put it in the microwave and heated it up. We've turned it out onto some parchment and we are just taking a knife and smoothing that out a bit. And then once we've done that, we're just gonna take our fruit crystals, and these are a cranberry fruit crystal. They're all natural by Chef Rubber. And we're simply going to sprinkle those right on top of our melted chocolate. And what a beautiful contrast that cranberry color is with that creamy white chocolate color. Definitely makes a wonderful presentation. We'll let that firm up and we'll be ready to break it up. Our cranberry bark has had an opportunity to set up and we're ready to break it into pieces. We have some really fun stemless martini glasses that we're going to use to display our peppermint bark on our holiday buffet table. So when you're doing your buffets, you know, just think about what will look visually appealing. Different glasses, you know, cute little containers, baskets, things like that just really make a nice presentation for the holidays. So we're just gonna simply stack that up in our stemless martini glass and we will be ready to move on to our final bark. This is our final candy bark. This is our milk chocolate 
basil and ginger candy bark. So just like with our white cranberry bark, we're using a candy coating. This is a Merkins candy coating, which is a milk chocolate, a non-tempering chocolate that we've heated up into the microwave. We're spreading a nice thin coating of it onto our parchment paper. And then we're gonna take our herb crystals. These are our basil herb crystals from Chef Rubber. And we're simply going to sprinkle those right on top of that melted chocolate. To this, we are going to be adding some crystallized ginger. If you've never have crystal, had crystallized ginger before, it is absolutely delicious. Um, it's got a nice gingery interior and it's very um, sugary on the outside. And it really is a perfect balance to the basil and the milk chocolate. So, you know, when you are doing sweet with savory, balancing is extremely important. You wanna balance those flavors out. The other thing too is that we're serving our cranberry uh, candy bark next to our crystallized ginger and basil bark. So they actually complement each other because um, crystallized ginger actually goes really well with cranberry. Um, I make some holiday bliss bars that have crystallized ginger and cranberry in them and it's absolutely delicious. So this will conclude our final bark. We're gonna go ahead and let this firm up and then we will break it apart and get it into our serving dishes. Our candy bark has had the opportunity to firm up now so we're ready to go ahead and start breaking that apart and placing that right into our candy dish. Again, um, these flavor crystals are all available at chefrubber.com. You can find the chocolate coating candy at your local cake supply shop or online. Uh, CK Products does sell it. It's called Merkin's Candy Coating Chocolate. And we hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I think that these barks together just look wonderful and they'll be a nice addition to any holiday table. Um, then the addition of the basil with the candied ginger definitely will delight even the pickiest foodie. So until next time, make it sweet or savory, but always delicious.